Welcome back to Lost Dimension, and I'm still trying to narrow things down here, but I think I just had an idea. Now, something I've just realised is, a good tactic here is to use the same team for two missions, but change one person and see how that changes things. Now, that was the case for that one and that one, but I just noticed something. These two teams right here, they are identical except with Ajitor swapped with Himeno. And because swapping these two did not change the number of voices here, that means we can deduce one thing. Either both Ajito and Himeno are suspicious, or neither of them are. Because yeah, if that's the case, yeah, that has to be true. Either both of them are suspicious, or neither of them are. And the thing is, they can't both be suspicious, because they both participated in this mission, and we only had one voice. Which means... Neither of them are. And that narrows down things down a little bit more. That means the last suspicious person here is either Mana or Nagi, which worries me because those are the two girls that I've kind of got closest to at this point. So it would mean that either of you have to be it. Though there were two voices here, and that means that one of you needs to be suspicious as well. But I'll narrow that down later. For now, I actually tried this with Mana before, and it actually checks out. Um, a combination of Mana, Toya, and Sojiro does check out as the three voices for this floor, but let's check what happens if we went for Nagi instead. That would make Mana safe. If we went for Nagi, that checks out. This means that both of you are safe. And that means the last voice has to be Sojiro. But it does check out. Likewise though, if we go with Mana here, that means that you're safe. This group checks out, this group checks out, and once again it means that Sojiro must be the third voice. So. This is actually somewhat interesting, because we know that both Mana and her cannot be suspicious. It can only be one of those two. But it could actually be either of them. And that is actually very, very dangerous. On the other hand, though, let's say that neither of you are safe. And let's say that you're still undecided. Can it be either of these two? You see, if it was Marco, that would make her safe, which is fine. That would mean Sojiro is also safe. But if it was Marco, then it couldn't... Okay, right. If it has to be one of you two, then it can't be Marco. But if it was her... Now this is very, very interesting. This is very interesting. It almost feels like it has to be you. But it could be either you or you. I have an idea of who to bring to the next mission, though. So, let's go ahead and talk, and yeah, you may have gone insane and accidentally blew someone up last time. What? But small talk's not so bad. I just want to make sure that nobody suspects you if you're fine. <laughs> um, well, um, I probably shouldn't say that, I don't want to explode, because, um... I beg of you! <laughs> 
this is weird because again, um, there's the potential to offend her either way. So this is kind of a bit of a, uh, this is a bit of a, um, yeah, sadistic question. If you say the thought never crossed your mind, then that means you don't like her at all. But if you say this, then she most likely doesn't want that because, um, I get the feeling she doesn't like it when people want to hug her because she can accidentally burn them. And not only that, but then you're, well, being creepy and not respecting boundaries. So, um, I don't know what to do here. Um, I might just go for the marginally less creepy but more jerkish option. Huh. Oh. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, by the way, yeah, this conversation is pretty much solely responsible for this game's rating, by the way. If I did look at the ESRB description for this game, and, um... Two lines in this conversation showed up there. So my guess is this conversation is entirely responsible for the game's rating. I'll burn it. Um, well, that makes a lot of sense, actually. No. Yeah, you are a great asset, even though you went insane and almost blew up everyone. Uh, yes, it has. You've you've helped a lot of people so far. Hmm. Yeah, I get the feeling that uh, anyone who gets close to her has a tendency to get kind of burned. And well, considering that, yeah, I almost think that um, if she ever did try and well do that with someone, I'm wondering if that would result in... Yeah, that could end badly. So, kind of sucks to be her, but anyway. Uh, right then. You are slightly suspicious here, so I'm not sure I want to talk to you. Let's see. And you may be suspicious. So, let's talk to some people that we no, hopefully know a safe. Well, we actually know you're safe. As weird as that sounds, and as much as I wish that you weren't in a way. You're right. Yeah, pretty much sums it up. But well, Zenji's kind of the the kind of guy who you you think, I'm glad he's on our side. And let's talk to you for a bit. Do. You're right. Yes, he is plotting something involving nuclear missiles. And well, that's it for conversations, but here is my. Okay, well, actually, we've got quite a few conversations here. Not sure if any of these are going to be particularly useful, though, though I can actually get another conversation with you. Careful about saying things like that. Very, very careful. But I'm pretty sure that she's safe from this floor because, again, based on the setup, either both her and Ajito are suspicious or neither of them are. No. Yeah, we lack too much information. Oh, I never considered that possibility, the fact that some of the traders would have even been forced to do that due to... Now I feel even worse about having to erase them. Anyway, let's head on out to the gate. And, well, I don't like the sound of this. Four-star difficulty and the fact that we're in a big open room with every single enemy breathing down our neck right from the start. Actually, let's check the enemies. Okay, Fort D. Okay, the forts are in the front line. The punchy status guy is over there. The gunner's in the rear, and then there's you. Dorm. That is, I'm saying that right, right? Door. It's a very woody sounding enemy. Fitting that we're in a woody area, but... Anyway, what do we get here? Mind Capture Plus Move Vial. That sounds kind of useful, actually. Health Pack and two, two Gift Experience from this. Okay. 
That could be sort of useful, and a lot of experience. And yes, this is a boss mission. Now, for this mission, I want to bring all three of the people that I can potentially... So what I want to do is, I want to bring Sorjiro and Toya, just to hopefully confirm that both of them might be making the voices. And other than that, I need to bring one of Mana or Nagi, but not both. Because if I bring both, then things could kind of... Also, I need to bring Zenji, because his battle performance has been down lately. Perhaps Marco, since we're going to be facing a boss and we might need some defensive power. What have we got? We've got a couple of melee attackers, one who can be either few ranged attackers. And again, I need one of you two, but not uh, both. And I have used Nagi quite a lot, so I may have to bring Mana. Thing is, Mana's probably the one who I really don't want to be the traitor because I just, ah, I really, really like her. She's really hilarious. So, I am hoping that I can clear you of this one. But, with these, these all in place, let's begin the quest. Wonder if this is another mission where it might be beneficial to have two tanks, as in having well Zenji copy. Let's prepare for the assault. Oh, look, a voice acted scene. I enjoy the nerves you get in battle. It's the same rush I get doing surgery. Well, that's interesting. I have to fight to survive. I can't let up now. Do not neglect inspecting your equipment, everyone. Nobody can predict what may occur on the battlefield. When we all join forces like this, I really feel that there's no way there's a traitor among us. <sighs> You keep saying that. It's going to be very ironic if you turn out to be the traitor. Maybe this whole Taya thing is an act to get everyone to not suspect you. With everyone. Just leave some for me and stay out of my way. Got it? If it weren't for this traitor business, I'm positive we'd have made a real brilliant team. That is the true tragedy of this I game. I have some mixed feelings about this. Yeah. Let's do this, everyone. We have to fight to survive. So, will our boss sign in, please? Let's see what you look like. My guess is it's just an upgraded version of the big um, mech from the other one. Or not. It would be interesting to see how... Uh... Get all this traitor stuff. Can't we just stay a happy bunch of friends? Well, that thing looks like it has treads now. You know, being a traitor means you'd be on the enemy's team, right? But none of us do anything weird in battle. Unless we go berserk. I'm still unclear. What exactly are they supposed to be traitors to? By what the end said, it didn't sound like they were just his lackeys or anything. Yeah, the true mystery of this game, just what are the traitors on about? What's Why their they goal? Slip into our ranks? Wouldn't it be easier just to ambush us? A knife in the back can be very effective. Well, we know it's not coming from you, at least not on this floor. <laughs> That's a little extreme, I'll admit. I've been observing everyone as much as I could during the fight, but I haven't seen anyone acting suspiciously. If there really was a traitor, we would have found them in the heat of battle, where they're most likely to slip up. I don't get it. Everybody here is fighting properly, so I don't have a clue who the traitor could be. When you're putting your life on the line, being unable to count if your comrade has your back is rather troubling. But, well, it's time to fight. Brutal Clash. Let's go. And we have the boss theme again. I really like this song. It's been in a lot of the... There's a document right there. Yeah, you would do something like that. This is a very straightforward map, though, which actually worries me because uh, we are completely exposed at all times. There's absolutely no hiding here. And that, yeah, does really, really worry me. Can I pick this up and shoot in the same turn? Well, here's a good position to, for assist, but we could quite easily... Let's go. Fate Materia file. Kind of interesting. Might want to go for one of the 85% ones. And these guys are weak to shot attacks, so I definitely want to go ahead and abuse that as much as I can. Can I get a sweep going? Not really. Actually, wait. Oh, yeah, you are weak to short-time attacks. 
Now I get an assist if, if I attack like that. I do want to get some additional um, skills for Toya, especially that lightning. I have both of the dex cap of the dex boosts on him, and he still misses. Yeah, here's the thing with Zenji. Do I go ahead and copy Marco or copy someone else? You know what, maybe copying mana might not be such a bad idea, now that I think about it. Or maybe early in the battle I'll copy Marco just for the defensive powers, and later on I'll copy um, mana for some offense. That sounds like a good plan. Ah, uh, yeah, that costs a lot of sanity. If I use Go Away, I get a double assist. Hey, Go Away! Nice attack there. And come on, Zenji! Ah, really? <sighs> okay then, that just made things a lot more awkward. So that enemy's already heavily weakened. And I'm not even in range of you. And if I use that, I don't get assists. Can attack you, though. And only get one assist. But if I attack you, I don't even need any assists. Still can't believe that I can't get close enough to you. You know, perhaps deferring might be a better idea here. Leave it to me. I will only get one assist there. Get no assists if I do that, but I'll get three assists if I go there, but that's not gonna really help me. Lock on still gets me an assist attack though. Actually, you know what I should have done? I should have moved Mana closer, then deferred, then... Well, actually, she wouldn't have been able to get an attack off anyway. And assist shot from the two people we know definitely trust each other. And here's where Sojuro comes in handy. Self-regenerate would be kind of useful. He's actually surprisingly tanky, but... Uh, kind of don't want him to get too many attacks on him. I think assists still activate even if you finish off the enemy. Just to make sure that you get the trust increase. Okay, here's where things get really... That's an area attack. But I get to... No, I don't get to counter that. Because that was a... Uh, that I do get to counter. And punch guy. Please don't status me. And pathetic counter. Ugh, you're going into sniper mode. Hopefully that means you get to stay still for a turn. Hi there, boss man. That is... And assisted! Ow. Yeah, I have to watch out for enemies assisting the... <laughs> oh, that's bad. Um... Well, that was a bad idea. Yeah, that was a critical mistake on my part as well. Now, one thing that I actually realized, though, is that you don't get any extra experience for killing regular enemies here, so if the goal is not to defeat everyone, there's really no point in fighting anything that isn't the boss. Uh, debuffing skills would be very useful here. Kind of wish I brought some of those. The only downside of this kind of plan is that if I do do this, then... Then we have all... And, and if this plan fails, and I don't take out the boss in one go, 
we're kind of going to get slaughtered by all of these guys, so maybe I should actually focus on taking a few of them out, though I don't like those enemies in sniper mode. I think it would take all of us to potentially take down this boss, and yeah, you know what? I don't particularly like my odds, so I'm going to go for these enemies instead. And shot and punch. Finished him. That required everyone, I believe, yeah. See, the good news about all of us getting closer like this is that we can all do super assist attacks together, yay. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, no, I won't even get any assists off if I use a sweep shot. But I will get a double assist if I do this. That wasn't even a back shot. Takes off half your health in one go, but I get double punched. Oh, don't worry, I will recover you. But let's go for a back shotgun shot. And enemy down. Yeah, I guess I can go for you. Yes, good. And show has massive critical rate on assists, so that should be very helpful to us right now. Once again, she can't attack that one. But she can not quite go behind that one. Or can she? Don't think this quite qualifies for a back attack, though. But I may as well give it a shot. Yeah, not quite a back attack, and this is definitely not going to finish you. Unless I get really lucky with criticals or something. And let's hope no one else goes down on the enemy phase here. Oh, that's a status, and he is stuck. And the boss gets to assist. Yeah, and that boss got a back attack. If that was anyone other than Marco, then... Oh boy! This is actually bad. Yeah, I'm sure there's a better way to take on this mission, but uh, I'm doing very badly at the moment. Oh, that's going to hurt a lot. Or not that much. Well, that did a slight amount of damage. Long shot. You didn't even need to do that. And boss assist. Yeah, boss assists, very, very dangerous, and nice dodging there. Let's go. Uh, well, this doesn't look good. You still have a lot of health left. No, not deferring. The problem with using the revives is they don't heal very much HP at all. Almost feel like, um, better to go ahead and do this. Good. We have to all stick together after all. Well, Just realized something. Might have actually been better if, uh... If we'd all attack down one side. Well, I do get a double assist if I do this. Let's see how much damage I can do here. Not much at all. You have enormous defense. Probably should have brought some debuff skills here. Don't get in my way. Oh right, Zenji was linked with Marco and now Marco's down. Does that mean Zenji reverts back to his original stats? Or is he still linked? Yeah, I think he reverted back to his original stats there. Let me just check something. So, this boss thing. 20 melee resistance. Okay, it is relatively weak to special attacks, but uh, that is a lot of vitality, so a lot of defense. Let's 
Let's try linking with someone with a bit of power behind her. Here I go. Yeah, Toya is kind of injured. But it's not entirely safe to bring back anyone at this point. Guess we should focus on some attacks that can't be countered, maybe? Yeah, if I punch you, I'm not going to get any assists off. I don't want to revive someone just to have, like, the boss go over and kill them, though that could take some pressure off of how many revives do I have? Life pack. I have three of them left. Okay, you know what? I'm going to actually go for it. Hey, he doesn't even get to move after being revived. That is very annoying. Well, at least I'm fairly resistant to um, physical attacks, thanks to... But I am kind of weak to shots due to copying mana. That hurts a lot. Please die. And yeah, this is exactly what I was worried about. But at least that means that one enemy's turn is wasted. At least you friendly fired somebody, I'll give you that. Well, this situation is not looking good. At least you're gone, only one enemy that isn't the boss left. You definitely need some healing though. Let's begin. Here I go. Three down. Mana does have a lot of health, though. I'm playing kind of defensively here. I'm definitely going to need to buy some more of these life packs after this. And the boss is most likely going to use its Mega Mega Sweep attack on us. Yeah, this is exactly what I worried about. The fact that you go down immediately after you revive. Yeah, this is... That's a back attack, isn't it? No, it's not. Okay. Do get an assist, though. This looks bad. Yep, this definitely looks bad. Probably best to move mana first here. Well, even Show's asking for healing. Let's go! Impactor! Come on, Toya, can you get a crit here? Not quite enough. At least during this leaves only the boss remaining. Good. Wish we had some kind of a ranged healing item. Uh, I mean, not a ra an area of effect healing item. Well, Toya is reasonably healed. Let's begin. Now it's probably going to go for its uh, sweet thing. Charge. Okay, I think Let's that means this. we should stay away from that thing for a while. I am worried about these life packs. I only have one left. If I only have one left, I really want to use it on Marco. The problem with that is that... Get the feeling that I should have brought Yoko to this. Debuffing the boss would have been really, really good. Thanks. Then let's begin. Yeah, the thing is, yeah, now Marco is severely injured. Thankfully, I can still defer to him, though. 
Now get back, because I am worried about what this boss might be able to do. But he can use the health capsule plus on himself. Here I go. Restore most of his HP, actually. And you just use a regular health capsule. We've got a lot of those. Yeah, this has not exactly been my finest fight. Oh, yeah, that's gonna hurt. Did that thing just miss completely? Wow, um, I'll certainly take that. Now let's attempt to go for that get behind you and shoot you a lot strategy. Except like a counter for doing that. Almost feel like it's best to wait until I've actually got a lot of assists Let's going begin. before I actually attack. Sounds like a good plan. Though, can I get into a position where I can use Coil Shot and it can't counter? Yeah, no counter from this! Not much damage though. You know, I get the feeling that this is a situation where Daze will actually be helpful. I'm sorry, I can't quite recover because he's, uh... They do say that it's actually really uh, worthwhile deliberately activating Berserk sometimes, but for now, not sure that's, that's the best course of action. Well, Mana does have a move that can't be countered, though. Does somewhat considerable damage. Okay, I think Marco can take a counter. Let's get some good assists going. And tank the hit there, Marco. And it's gonna turn around and go for this big... And this is where the whole assist, mega assist plan doesn't really work so well in this situation. Let's see, is it possible for Sho to go out of its counter range? Well, it can counter from there. Can't counter from here, though. Well, nice double critical. No triple critical, though. Its health is going down, though. Let's go for another coil shot that cannot be countered. From this distance, at least. One assist. Two. And three. Insanity is getting low, but not low enough. And you can counter from this range. Okay, go away! Decent damage there. Okay, its sanity is almost gone. And it's dazed. Uh, yeah, I think that means all of its stats are down. Can I finish it this turn? Kind of hope that I can. Lots of damage there. Well, actually, it's gone down. Well, that was definitely not my finest showing, but, uh, at least we won. At least we won. It looks like we've won this battle. And just looking at Zenji and, and Sojiro lying there. Fighting as a group like this makes it so much easier. Yeah, it does. I wish we could just... I could have handled this one by myself. Says the guy who is lying on the ground unconscious. What's the use of even having teammates if you can't trust them? Stupid. Um, yeah, and also the fact that you kind of failed miserably in that battle. How long do you think this stratum goes on for? I hope it doesn't turn out to be the case where we just keep climbing higher and higher indefinitely. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't joke about that. It might actually be the state of things here. Yeah, the infinite tower. It seems we've managed to survive again. 
It'd be great if these enemies were all we had to worry about until we reached the end. I guess so, but that boss was still pretty tough. Yeah, I need to come up with a much, much better strategy for that mission. Hopefully I will be able to, and that certainly was brutal. Yeah, hopefully I will be able... <sighs> yep, terrible. Absolutely terrible. Minus 10, because he went down twice. Uh, Marco also went down twice, but still got some good points. Shaw got a ridiculous amount of points for all of his assists. Oh, yeah, that was... that was not a good showing at all, but... Again, off-camera, I'll try and come up with a strategy for that, and there actually is a trophy for S-ranking every mission, which I do intend to go for, but it's not like I'm... I'm probably not going to commentate over S-ranking everything. Once we're a higher level, it should be pretty easy to S-rank missions, kind of like in Valkyria Chronicles, but still. I need to come up with a better strategy for that mission, definitely. That... I think I have a vague idea of maybe how to do this. Probably best to concentrate everybody on one side, but that way the boss gets its sweep attack on you. That was certainly a lot of experience, though. And yeah, everyone who participated gained two gift experience from that, but the ones who didn't, did not. Also, we're approaching that point where, uh... Sho is suffering from that can't drop the hero issue. Well, not so much suffering, but I personally don't like it because I like keeping my levels evenly. Anyway, in games where you can't drop the hero from any mission, they usually end up higher level than everyone else. Was definitely the case in Persona Q. My protagonist in that game ended up about 20 levels higher than everyone else. But, if I'm doing this right, I should get three red voices here, and that's why I brought this particular team. Let's see if I was right. Isn't that a little this could mean serious One, two, only two. I only got two there. Now, I guess the only way to really confirm if I was right or not what do you mean? No. What? Damn. Ah, uh, so we're almost ready to... <laughs> oh, you keep suspecting her. No, it is not. No. Not her. Huh? At least it's probably not her. Now here's the thing, you're in fact one of my suspects right now. At the moment, I'll just say I don't know. Indeed. Uh, yeah, definitely going on him and all. Oh, the judgment room's open already. Definitely not going there yet. There should at least be a yeah, there should be one more subquest here. Fight our Barris and slay the other enemies. Wait, is the old boss back? Oh hey, it's the old boss. Hi there, old boss. Yeah, you are nothing compared to the new boss. I'll consider this mission later. What I am concerned about, however, is the... Wow, Toya's trust is massive. Really massive. Yeah, we are definitely getting trust up here quite a lot. And Marco's is up quite a bit, thanks to all those assists, most likely. Uh, him and I are still a bit below in the rankings. Mana's climbed up a bit. Now, here's the thing. So, for this mission, I got two voices. What I want to do is repeat a mission with the same team. Not repeat a mission, but um, just um, do another mission with the same team, but with mana swapped out for Nagi. If I do that, and it's three, I think I've narrowed it down to these three. And thus, I've narrowed it down to just these two. 
So that's my current goal here. And so, next time, there's one final mission that we'll need to do, so I will see you then. Okay, so I repeated that mission with the same team, but swapping out Mana for Nagi. Now, if we get three voices here, then my thoughts are correct. If I don't, then I have gone wrong somewhere. Clodo. Don't forget about Clodo. So, there's an enemy among us? Yep, I think I got it. I think I've got it. 